It's another dress up day. It's our favourite game to play. Is this where inventors live? Where's the door? It's up here! Let's see if anyone is home. <laughs> I wonder what all these levers and buttons do. Careful, Jack. You don't know. Thank you, Miss Chloe. You're welcome, lovely carrot. Ooh! Look at this very, very big ball pit. I'm going inside. Enough balls! They're balloons! I found a pretty purple one. <laughs> What's so funny? Your hair! It looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's Wiz. Where is he? There he is. How is he doing that? Anything can happen in my world. <laughs> that may be true, young lady. But in this case, your little metal friend is sticking to the ceiling because of a magnet. <laughs> Are you an inventor? Inventor? <laughs> I am the world's greatest inventor! Can you invent something so we can walk on the ceiling like Wiz? Already have! Just put on those metal boots! Yes! Was it brilliant? It yes. was! I think so. I think not. And I need to invent something brilliant for the next toy invention convention. What's an invention convention? Well, it's where a bunch of inventors get together to show their latest toy inventions. Maybe we can help. Maybe you can. We could invent something cool with this. Or with this. <laughs> Too dangerous! <laughs> What's this? Ah, that is one of the toys I may take to the convention. It's a cloak of invisibility. Ooh! I don't see anything. Of course not. It's invisible! Ah! Are you really under there? 
I am. One problem, though. If I want to be totally invisible, I have to put the cloak over my face. <gasps> it works. Yes, but now I can't see where I'm going. Ah! Sorry, lovely carrot. Didn't know you were there. So, you see the problem with that toy? How about this toy? That's just a plain old scooter. Actually, it's a flying scooter. Try it, Chloe. It still has a few kinks. Whee! Ah! Ooh, hang on, Chloe! Yikes! Look out! Ah. Ah. Oh, no! Oh, no. Ah. Sorry, guys! Pickles! I think it's out of petrol! Ah. Jump, Chloe! Whee! As you can see, it needs a little work. Maybe you should try inventing a simple toy, Mr. Inventor. That's silly, Chloe. Simple toys aren't fun. I think they are. Like this stick. What can you do with a stick? Well, you can hold it in front of you and pretend you're leading a band. It's a pony and ride on top of it. <laughs> Brilliant! What else? It could be a guitar. Or a baseball bat. <laughs> Giggling gaggles of geese! That's the best toy I've ever seen! Stupendous! Brilliant! How did you ever get it to work so well? We just pretended. Genius! I shall call this toy Chloe's Incredible Pretending Toy! Hundreds of games in one little stick! Just add imagination! It'll be the hit of the invention convention! This Calls for a celebration! Woo! <laughs> it's another dress up day. It's our favorite game to play. Do you know how to fly an aeroplane, Chloe? I do in my world. So do you. You're my co captain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the flight attendant. <laughs> and here come our passengers. Welcome aboard, sir. Welcome aboard, ma'am. Up, up, up to the sky above. Up, up, up to the sky above. Have a nice flight. Welcome, sir. Whoa. Wait, please. I have a ticket. Have a good flight, Junior. Will you two be boarding as well? Ha, we don't need no plane to fly south. We have wings. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everybody. This is Co-Captain Lil. Please put your tray tables up and fasten your seat belts. Tray table up, sir. Hello, lovely carrot. <laughs> Hello, Captain Chloe. Just like Super Mallard. Who? Up, up, up to the sky above? Uh, 
No, I don't think so. Ah, we're gonna take off. What do I do? What do I do? We'll just buckle your seatbelt, and you can sit back and relax. Phew. Thank you. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're a duck. Why are you flying south on an aeroplane? Uh, my wings are tired. <sighs> Whoa! I'd better get back to my seat. Whoa. Hi, it's Captain Chloe again. We are now safely above the clouds. Would Sir like a snack? to rest for a minute. See? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Can we please hurry and fly south for the winter now? Goodness. If you're in such a hurry, why don't you just fly there with your own wings? Yeah, Junior. Why don't you just fly? Like your famous uncle, Super Melon. <laughs> up, up, up to the and sky above! <laughs> I knew it! I knew you looked like Super Mallard! He's your uncle! Yep. He is my uncle. Okay, everyone. Time to board the aeroplane. We'll be taking off soon. Junior, why don't you just fly? Uh... I guess I'm a little bit scared. What are you scared of? Well, everyone always talks about how amazing my uncle is. He can fly super high and super fast. I could never fly like he does. You don't have to fly like he does. Just fly! Really? Could you guys help me? Of course! First, you need to see what it will look like when you're flying high in the sky. On the count of two, open your eyes. One, two. Wow! It's beautiful! Look up above! Oh! Now look down below! <gasps> wow! Everything's really beautiful when you're flying. Brilliant! Now you need to see what it feels like with the wind in your feathers. Ready? One, two. Oh, oh, this feels great. Whoa! Hey! Now let go of me. I'm just flying. <laughs> oh, dear. He's caught in a wind gust. Hang on. I'm coming, lovely carrot. Am 
I really? You certainly are. It's really hard to fly through a wind gust. It was like watching Super Mallard. Up, up, up! To, to the, the sky, sky above! Well then, I didn't fly quite as fast or as high as he does. But I did fly. Do you want to fly south with us now? Sure. Mm, but I still don't fly very fast. That's okay. You'll learn. Thanks for helping, guys. You're all super. Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye! 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 It's another dress-up day. It's our favourite game to play. Lollipop! <laughs> Look at all the trees! <laughs> wow! <laughs> and the birds! Is the name. I just bumped into your friend up there. <laughs> this is Riley and Tara and my Chloe and I'm lovely Carrot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, don't know my own strength. May I ask you all a question? Have you seen any nuts around here? Besides me, that is. <laughs> I need to find some macadamia nuts. Would you like us to help you look, Mr. Mike? That would be grand, Miss Chloe. Macadamia nuts grow on macadamia trees, way up there. How do we get up there? We'll take the stairs. But trees don't have stairs. They do in my world. Brilliant. Let's climb. We're going awfully high, Miss Chloe. Yes, we are, lovely carrot. <laughs> what are the nuts for, Mr. Mike? I'm on a scavenger hunt. What's a scavenger hunt? Whoa! Well, it's a party game. Very fun, very fun. Everyone gets a list of things they must try to find. The first to find everything on the list wins. Y'all simply must come back to the party with me when the hunt is over. Ha, 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 ha. Woo, oh, whoa. We'd love to. Hooray! We will. That was a very, very long way up. Uh, I don't see any nuts up here. Hmm? Hmm. Seems the birds have collected them all. Excuse us, but could we have a few of your nuts, please? Okay, catch! Oh, I missed it! Uh, oh, these are hard to catch. Pickles, I dropped it. You're welcome, Miss Chloe. Thanks for the nuts, ladies. You're welcome. 
Well, good show, Garrett. This is perfect. What's next on your list, Mr. Mike? Hmm. Let's see. I need some coconuts. I wonder where you find coconuts. Up in trees! Ha! Of course. Let's go back up. I'm not climbing up there again. It's okay. We'll find a coconut down here. Uh, but you said they grow up in trees, Miss Chloe. That's where they grow. This is where they fall. X marks the spot. Ha! Ah, excellent! Uh, uh. Now I have a coconut and some macadamias. Mmm! Those will make great snacks for the party. I just need one more thing. What do you need? A piece of bamboo. Bamboo? Why? You can't eat bamboo. <laughs> no, no you can't. But we're not going to eat any of these things, Tara. What else would you do with coconuts and macadamia nuts? Well, ha! Let's find that bamboo! Does bamboo grow on trees, lovely carrot? It might. Or it might grow inside trees. Ugh, it's sticky in there. It's honey. You look very sweet, lovely carrot. <laughs> no bamboo up there. No bamboo down here. Hey! I found it! Behind this bush! Bamboo! Oh, no. It has some holes in it. <laughs> Couldn't be more perfect. You want it to have holes in it? Wouldn't want it any other way. Follow me! It's time to get this party started! <laughs> Hello! I have returned with my scavenger hunt band. Huh? I know. We're going to play music with all these things. Bravo, Miss Chloe. You guessed it. Now come stand here, everyone, and we'll play a tune. Come along and sing with the band, Tara. Those things aren't band instruments. Indeed they are. Just listen. Old Big Mac had a band, E-I-E-I-O. There's a lot of sand here. Sand! There are some trees! And a sand castle! And a lemonade stand! Lemonade stand? That's odd! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Wait for me! <laughs> Wait! Drinking lemonade when it's hot outside. I hope it's not too sour. I'll test it for you, Miss Chloe. Thank you, lovely carrot. <laughs> it's a little sour. <laughs> <gasps> Where did Mac go? Mac here! Are you all right, Mac? Who is this? When did you learn to ride a camel? Oh. Oopsies! No worries. I'm fine. My fault. Marhaba! 
I am Asif the Camel. It's nice to meet you, Asif the Camel. And you. Um, you haven't seen two other camels around here, have you? No, I'm sorry. I was just playing hide and seek with them. But I guess I'm a little too good at the game. You mean they couldn't find you? Mm-hmm. So they must have left without me. It's okay, Asif. We'll help you find your friends. Chloe, look! Here are some tracks. Where? Where? Hurry! Let me see! Camel tracks! Camels didn't make those tracks, Mac. Ducks did. Ducks? Two ducks wearing boots. <laughs> <laughs> what do camel tracks look like? Like this. A camel has two toes. Two toes? Mac, find it! Well done, Mac. Let's follow them. River! Oh, hooray for rivers! Woo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> Wonderful! <laughs> <laughs> Silly, lovely carrot. <laughs> There's no water in that river. <laughs> La 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 Snakes! Hold on, Chloe! I'm coming! Get away! Go, Snake! Shoo! <laughs> it's okay, lovely carrot. They won't hurt me. But snakes can be very dangerous. Not in my world. Excuse us, snakes, but did you see two camels come by this way? Yes, I think so. Which way did they go? We're so low, we only saw their feet as they pass. Oh, we'll never find my friends. But you could ask the Sphinx. He sees everything. Yes, the Sphinx will know where my friends went. Let's hurry. Thank you, snakes. Bye-bye. Flying feathers. He's huge! Don't worry, he's very friendly. Hello, Mr. Sphinx! Hello, can you hear me? Mr. Sphinx! Can you hear me? Hello! Hello. Hello. He's too high up to hear us. I wish we could get closer. Your wish is my command, Miss Chloe. Climb aboard! He's sleeping. Let's wake him. <laughs> Mr. Sphinx! Wake up! <laughs> He's still asleep. <laughs> Mr. Sphinx, please wake up. It's no use. I have an idea. Go to his nose, lovely carrot. <laughs> Oh, brilliant, Miss Chloe. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Sphinx. <sighs> Who is there? I'm Chloe. We're hoping you can help us. Why, I would be delighted to help. Thank you. Do you think the Sphinx will help us? Do you think he can see where my friends have gone? The Sphinx says your friends went that way, Asif. Oh, boy. Hop on, you two. Let's go and find them. Asif the camel has two humps. Asif the camel has two humps. Asif the camel has two humps. So ride, Asif, ride. Boom, boom, boom. Asif the camel's up, goes up. Asif the camel's up, goes down. Asif the camel's up. Right, 
My friend plays a flute like that. I see an oasis and two camels. We found them! <laughs> we found them! As if the camel finds one friend. As if the camel finds two friends. As if the camel finds both friends. So run, as if run! Race you to the oasis, Cadet! Huh? <laughs> okay! <laughs> Look, it's Asif! Hooray! <laughs> I found you! We are sorry we left you, Asif. But we couldn't find you, so we thought you had left us. We'll never leave you again. We, we promise. Hooray for Asif! Thank you! Thank you all! I'm so happy to be back with my camel friends. It's another dress-up day. It's our favourite game to play. <laughs> this must be the racetrack. Now we just need some cars. Here they come! This car is so beautiful and so purple. It must be for me. Is this great or what? <laughs> Hop in, Soggy. Seat belts on. Helmets up. <laughs> Your world is great, Chloe. Uh, aren't you all a little young to be driving cars? Not in my world, lovely carrots. Look what Soggy found on his seat. It's a map with directions for the race. We found a map too. <laughs> Where's our map? We need a map. How can we race without a map? Here it is. <laughs> you were sitting on it. I'm the oldest whiz. So I'm probably going to win. I don't know, Chloe. These directions are hard to follow. I think the map is backwards, lovely carrot. Oh. <sighs> You're right. This is much easier to read. <laughs> Too big to go around this way. 
Chloe and Judge are going to be miles ahead. Let's go round the other way. Here we go under the pretty red arch, the pretty red arch, the pretty red arch. Here we go under the pretty red arch on a lovely summer morning. Here we go over the goldfish pond, the goldfish pond, the goldfish pond. Here we go over the goldfish pond on a lovely summer's morning. Here we turn right at the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. Here we turn right at the mulberry bush on a lovely summer morning. at the end, Chloe. Uh-huh. Yeah. There's the finish line, Soggy. <laughs> but where's time? <laughs> A little warning next time. OK, Miss Chloe? <laughs> of course. I told you we could go around the trees, Wiz. <laughs> oh, no! is not on the map. Hmm, it's not fair. Look, there's the finishing line. We'll never get around the puddle in time. Unless we go through the puddle. <laughs> Crumbs. Came in third. Good race, Tara. It was fun. Mm, it was kind of fun, but next time I think I'll follow the directions. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> to the Queen! <laughs>